Hey gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net showing you guys a how-to on how to use the Generation 1 Apple Pencil. This is it. This is the Generation 1 Apple Pencil. It costs $100 MSRP and you can get these at Best Buy, Apple Store, wherever basically. Basically wherever Apple products are sold you can get this. The Generation 1 Apple Pencil is only compatible with the iPad 6th generation or the original iPad Pro. It is not compatible with anything previous to that. It's also not compatible with any type of iPad devices that would be using the Generation 2 Apple Pencil, including like the more recent iPad Pro or the recent model iPad Air. Those would basically use a Generation 2 model, so be aware of that. Um, if you have a Generation 2 model or a Generation 2 Pencil, um, this procedure will not work. Um, I'll have to do a video about a Generation 2 model, so that's a bit of a disclaimer. This will only work for a Generation 1 iPad Pro, a 6th generation iPad, and a Generation 1 iPad Pencil. So keep that in mind. First things first, go to the settings bar and check Bluetooth. I'm going to check there and make sure that your Bluetooth modem is on. That's the most important thing that I can say about this right now because the Apple Pencil uses Bluetooth. So keep that in mind. To connect this thing for the first time ever or to reconnect it if it ever gets disconnected, this is what you have to do. You pop the top off of the top and these things are small and very easy to lose, which is probably why they were redesigned for the Generation 2. You'll see that there's a lightning connector underneath the pen, uh, the, the pen cap where the eraser should be on the pencil. Plug it in here uh, into the lightning port. It goes in either way. You may have to connect the lightning port or you may have to move the, your case depending upon your case if you're using a folio or something like that in order to get that connected. But once it's connected, you can just see right here on the Bluetooth modem that it will say connected. So keep that in mind. Once that's all taken care of, you're gonna wanna check What's the battery life on this thing going to be? Now, if you need to charge it for whatever reason, you can charge it from the port, or you can use the adapter that came along with it. Um, it, it does come with an adapter. But this thing has no readout. It has no screen. So that can be a problem when you want to know how your battery, you know, how, how, how the battery is on this thing. So how do you check your battery life? Well, you go to this screen, which is where your widgets are located. You can see I've got things like weather and my most recent activities and things like that. My stocks, everything's down right now. You just go to edit. We're going to add a widget. Now, this will be on there no matter what. See how it says batteries widget right here? We're going to add that. And we're just going to move it up a little bit, make it easier to see it. There we go. Now, widget's been added. Now, look at the widget. Okay, sorry about that. Maniac's iPad, which is this iPad, and you can see the battery life of the Apple Pencil is there. Now, if this ever gets disconnected, it won't tell you the battery life of the Apple Pencil, and well, likely probably because this is going goes into standby if it's not used for a long time, or if it gets with gets outside of radio range with it. So keep that in mind, just really quickly. Now, what can you do with this? Well, can I be honest with you? I really just like using this thing to write notes and stuff. Let's see what I can do with it. Just tell it, create a note. And just tap down there. And select the type of tip I want. I can actually select how fine it is. And let's see if I can actually remember that. There is a little bit of handwriting recognition in this. It's not too great, but it is there. There are some other programs that will actually work better. But typically speaking, if you want to mark it, I mostly use this to mark up documents. You always want to hit this symbol right here. That brings up the documents. You can choose any color you want from the color wheel. You can choose any type of implement. That's the eraser. And you can get different types of um, effects on the screen. And that's typically a rundown. You can also use the markup feature in order to write on basically things like pictures and stuff. 
Obviously, programs like Photoshop and the Adobe Suite will have more functionality. I'm just saying, well, what can you do this with this right now? Well, anyways, I hope you liked the video. I'm really enjoying the Apple Pencil. I could use this basically paperless documents for the rest of my life with this thing. So until next time, guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care over and out.